Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Anna. Thank you so much for coming by. And if you enjoy your stay, I hope that you subscribe. Now you see that little pink bag behind me? That has entries for the hand of friendship. That has a challenge that I have going on right now. And it is like a crafty challenge because you outline your hand, you decorate it whichever way you like. You put your personal information, meaning your name and your address, your favorite movie, your favorite color, and you send it in. And that is your entry. I will put down, I have a playlist for it down there below um, if you click over here in the corner there's going to be an eye with a circle the eye in the sky you'll see the playlist down there below and you can see some of the hand of friendships that um, have come in and they are so cool it's 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 awesome the imagination you guys have now if you haven't checked out my what cousin chats yes we had a special guest last night honey we had mr p in the house yes we did so go check that out that was so much fun and honey the tea was hot it was hot honey the tea was hot it was being served up so go check out cousin chats as well now let's go ahead and get into this right now and you're going to hear my kids because it's the weekend and i'm a mom <laughs> you're going to hear them um, most of the stuff is a brand new, except for these few items I'm going to share first, just to knock them out. So I did get the Glass Plus Advanced Formula Wipes. These are fabulous to clean up your countertops in the kitchen and also in the bathroom and the glass as well. I have no problems with these, and these are awesome. So I did get two for $1.25. It's like you can't beat that. As well as the Brillo Basics, we use this um, to help do our dishes. Now, I do my son threw the other one away but what I do is I just refill it with water I refill it usually up to here then I put some Dawn up to there no from here to there and then I shake it up and then it you don't have to buy another one you just refill it with the um, with the dishwasher soap you have and it's a great foam sprayer for your dishes by Brillo and you can reuse it over and over again I did get the spick and span antibacterial cleaner and this does um, kill viruses and bacteria it also kills the big C the the big C yeah it says it right there it does see that right there so this one is a good good one to have now if you didn't know I am also a dollhouse miniaturist I know you probably can't see my dollhouse I do junk journals I do happy planners I'll be coming up with my weekly planning page I like to make jewelry I do hauls and share all kinds of things I do evenings with Anna and I also prep so I'm getting back to prepping I do have a very large playlist for prepping if you are stocking up your home with foods longer term foods and things for your family just to secure your homes a little bit more come back because I'm going to start getting back into that with you at least one video a week okay so be on the lookout then I did buy some Comet and this is a lemon fresh with bleach they did have the lavender I used a lavender last time so I wanted to try the lemon the lemon um, one so there you go we need it next we need to scrub our tub scrubby scrubby then in the beauty department I was able to find a crest brilliance 3d white vibrant peppermint and she looks like this so this was an excellent excellent find um, normally you don't find this there and this is a 3.9 ounce so if you have a coupon you can use your coupons at Dollar Tree and get it even cheaper if you're a couponer now let me show you what this looks like let's see so it looks like this okay and that's a really really good buy let me put this there on the side okay then so in the food department um, I did pick up a pack of moon pies these are the little mini ones and they it's a like six pack my kids already got into them they're gone honey empty gone 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 they didn't even leave me one not not one not nay one okay the little their little babies just getting into everything the next two fun foodie finds were the Hostess new Ding Dongs um, flavored popcorn. <laughs> I know. I'm not even going to say that again. I'm not. But uh, there you go. And it's supposed to be flavored that way. We've never tried it by Hostess. 
So I thought that that was kind of interesting. It's a 2.5 ounce and they also have a Twinkie one. So these are again for my kiddos. It's not my jam. And so they have it in two different Hostess flavors. And that was a really nice find because they never have stuff like that there. So this was a good one. It was a good one. Now let's go into the Autumn Home Decor Department. Yes, I needed to change my voice for that one. I found these LED pillar candles. Um, these are these are really nice if you're trying to update your home, you know, on your tables, tablescapes, your fireplace, you know, just making things look a little bit more autumnish on a budget. Um, they do have these, okay? So this one in particular it has the leaf design on the outside. And then it does give you that really nice look there. There's your LED light. And what I'm going to do after I show them to you, I'm going to change my light and then I'm going to turn it on. Now you do need to pull the little plastic clear tab, turn it on here at the bottom and you can replace the batteries on your own. And um, you could just take this off so you can get the full view of the candle itself. And it is plastic. So if you have little ones, you don't want to turn on any real flames. This is a great way to go and have a little ambient lighting to make it look really cool. So I did get two of these, as you can tell. All right, and I'm gonna take the sleeves off. Now I'm gonna turn them on for you in a second. Then they also had it in this um, really pretty brown. So let me take off the sleeve for the brown and I'm gonna show you the difference between the two of them. So we have a lighter version and then this really pretty darker well, it's like an amber brown, um, but it's still very pretty. And it has the leaf design going all the way around it, just like this one, but it's a little bit different type of a leaf. I thought that that was so pretty. Then I only got one of the green and I think they might've had one other color. Here's the other one. And I got only one of the green, even though green's my favorite color. Um, I just took the little sleeve off and there you go. She looks like that. I'm going to turn this off my light off really quick so there we go all right that's the green let's do this brown so the green feels like a little bit more brown a little brighter and then let's do the darker brown so you can see the different variations of what they look like once they're actually lit here we go so that's the different variations. Okay. And that's what they look like. Very pretty when you put them on your tables in the middle of the night. Somebody's coming in and you have this on and it just looks really pretty. And they look pretty when they're off as well. You can always add different, um, like a little burlap here at the bottom if you want or what have you and change them up seasonally. Their looks with um, different ribbons. So let me turn my light back on. Let's turn this baby back on. Okay, we got her back on. We, we back in business. And then I, I'm going to show you, okay, that's it for the autumn department. That's the only stuff I bought from there. Then I did buy one book and it's by Laura Ruby and it's called York. And this is a book too the clock ghost. So obviously there's more than one book because this is number two. And it is a hardback book. And um, the storyline seemed really interesting that I read right here. And this retails for, let me see if it'll tell me. No, it's not telling me what it retails for and it's covered right there. But that was a nice book find to add to our library for things to read. Reading materials are, are also a really gr a great prepping item along with games and things like that for your children. If you have children, learning materials. Um, if there's, you know, they can't go to school just like before. Now, we were all homeschooling. Yeah, I was sitting down with them all day long making sure they got things done. Um, it's always good to make sure that you have some additional um, materials for them because my children did not fall behind. They actually stayed on point and a little bit above their grade level. When all the other kids went back to their school, they were all below grade level. My kids stayed on point because I had all these materials there, games and other educational um, things that I can do with them. Okay. So just consider that if you have, you know, children. 
Now, let's go into the car department. They had the Jelly Belly. This was really cool find. They have the Jelly Belly car fresheners. Now, we do have several cars, so it's going to be fabulous to use in our cars, especially mine. Um, this one has the Berry Blue. And it does have like that little shimmer. Then it has the little plastic here. So it's kind of clear um, to hang it off of your rear view mirror. Now, what I did notice down here, it says contact with plastics can cause damage. I'm not too sure why, but just a heads up, um, you know, just a heads up. Then there's this one here, and I think this one's Tutti Fruity, right? Yeah, Tutti Fruity. Somebody told me that Tutti Fruity was awesome and made their car smell really nice. They had the purple one that's called Island Punch. Island Punch. To get these for $1.25 is amazing. And then they had the vanilla scent, and she looks like that. So these are great stocking stuffers as well for, you know, somebody that just got a car, is just driving, and you want to hook them up, and, and they love things like this. This is a great time to pick them up if you can find them. They also had some other um, different themed car air fresheners, like cassette tapes, a guitar, and some other company had a new one there as well, okay? All right, so let's go into the sock department. Now, you guys... This is insane. The amount of name brand socks that are available right now is crazy. And remember, this is, uh, my haul is so big, I have to split it up into two. So make sure you come back tomorrow on Sunday, because I'm releasing part two of all the new stuff that I found, okay? So, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, yeah, I have littles. Uh, I'm a mama five, I have them all the way from, you know, to, yeah. So that's one they're going to enjoy. Oh, and I do have two things from the Halloween department right here. I almost forgot. Almost forgot. Then I have found some of the La Di Da socks. Um, these are really cool and you do get two pair. So the La Di Da socks and they had a whole bunch of different variations. Um, I don't know what they normally go for. It doesn't say back here, but they are named brand. So this is another great Christmas gift if you want to tuck it away for Christmas. Great way to save money, but give really nice name brand gifts for your family, especially if, on, if you're on a tight budget. This is the Omega Sports name brand. Um, I don't know how much it would normally go for. Um, these are size 10 to 13 um, sock, which is great. And this is a two pair, but look how big they are. These are so thick. It is nuts. Um, so I, this is the only one I found of this particular color. They're very thick. And that's two pair. Then I found another Lottie Da pair here that has these cute kittens. And cats are kittens or cats? Yeah, they're cats and doggies. Yeah. And it's two pair. They're two pair right here. There you go. And I don't know what size they are. Shoe size 6 through 10. Okay. Another name brand. Really cool find. Then, of course, the Reebok socks. Um, it doesn't say how much they were going for. But these are considered a size medium. Well, it says women's 5 through 10 shoe size. But it says medium here. So these are going to be for my daughter. So there you go. I got two sets of those name brand Reebok socks and there's three pairs in there. So you get this really nice orange heel with the pink, white with the pink heel, and then the gray with the pink heel. And they do feel very soft and the heel feels thicker. It's like good quality. It's a Reebok sock, you guys. You cannot go wrong with Reeboks. Okay. Not Reeboks, but Reebok. <laughs> And then the um, last two items uh, are Halloween. Yes. And these are, I'm, I didn't even hold it up right. These are the backs to the table um, chair cover. Chair cover. Two different variations. And I'm going to pop this open really quick with you guys. Okay. 
because I think they might be smaller than last year. I'm I'm planning on not using these in my dining room. That's why I didn't buy six because there's six of us here. And um, yeah, but they seem smaller and I could be right. I'm going to put these out there on my front porch, on the sofa on my front porch. Yeah, they're definitely smaller. They were a little bit bigger last year. They're a little bit bigger last year. So they look like that. And then you just slide your pillow right in the inside. And because this fabric, this material has like a plastic feel to it, almost like weatherproofing, this would be great for a front porch. You wouldn't have any problems if it rained on it. As long as maybe you put a little Velcro, you know how you can add the little Velcro strips that have the sticky back and close it up down here at the bottom. You're not going to have any problems with your pillow getting wet or anything. But that's the size of that one of the pumpkin. And I wish they didn't put these uh, plastic, these little plastic things right in the middle of it because you can see the little holes in there. I think they could have picked a better spot for that. But here's this one. Where's the end? Okay, so it goes like that. So the other one looks like, yeah, like a skeleton. There you go. And it's about that big. And again, you slide your pillow in. This would be great for a boy's room too. You know, I got boys too. Um, just to get the little, little theme going on their beds. That would be cool too. If you want to do a little Halloween, um, a fun theme in their bedroom for the month. I'm sure that they would enjoy it. Little little kids enjoy all that kind of stuff. So that's it. Everything. That's, that's all of it for this haul. So thank you so much for coming by. Don't forget to go visit Cousin Chats. It was off the hook and we had so much fun. I'll be doing my prepping, joining in a hand of friendship. Check out my other Dollar Tree hauls, my Timu, my Shein, my Tryons. Um, I did a get ready with me this week and all kinds of good stuff. So Hope you become a part of the family. Talk to you guys later. See ya.